Some breaking news tonight. Alabama has a new law to protect in vitro fertilization patients and providers from legal liability. It happened just about an hour ago. The Senate passed a bill and Governor Kay Ivey has already signed it into law, allowing IVF treatments to resume. Those treatments were paused when questions arose in the wake of a state Supreme Court ruling that said embryos have the same rights as children. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert has more from the State House. And clerk on the lock machine and the members will vote. The House passed a bill that would shield both patients and providers from facing legal challenges after that recent Supreme Court ruling that classified a frozen embryo as a child. That decision led to clinics pausing services across the state. Now, this new legislation doesn't address the issue of personhood, but does protect providers who are ready to resume IVF services. I've had people call in tears to say, you know, we were almost ready to uh, get the process done and, and were cut short. But today, after today, they can start that back. The Senate also passed the IVF bill late Wednesday night. Before that, lawmakers spent around four hours debating a school choice bill that chamber voted to pass the CHOOSE Act. It's a voucher program that would give families thousands of dollars a year to pay for private school tuition and other educational expenses. Republicans say it's about academic freedom. Meanwhile, some Democrats fear this bill would only benefit high-income families. At some point in time, y'all, we got to get past politics, past platforms, past elections. Ultimately, we need to be funding uh, the students' education and focus on the students and not so much institutions. And the CHOOSE Act passed the Senate 23 to 9. In Montgomery, I'm Brady Talbert. Governor Kay Ivey will sign the CHOOSE Act into law with a ceremony tomorrow morning. WSFA 12 News will bring you full coverage. As for the IVF law, the National Infertility Association, known as Resolve, has issued a statement. They say in part, quote, while we are grateful for the actions of Alabama legislators, this legislation does not address the underlying issue of the status of embryos as part of the IVF process, threatening the long-term standard of care for IVF patients. There is more work to be done.